So Barry, nice to see you. Good to see you. And uh, you're here at the Pro Max and Moviola event. So why did you come here tonight? What are you gonna? What are you looking forward to? Well, I'm looking forward to being wowed. Well, welcome this evening. I appreciate everybody's time and. Uh, the fact that you are spending your evening with us tonight, I appreciate it very much. My name is Jess Hartman, I'm the CEO of Promax Systems. Uh, as many of you know, Promax has been in this industry since 1994, started by Charles McConathy. Uh, he unfortunately is no longer with us, but we are continuing the tradition of providing those media technology solutions to this industry. Uh, we have been growing pretty significantly over the last couple of years, even in a very difficult economy. We're on a heck of a trajectory, and we're doing that because we believe in what we do. We, we continue to attract the best people in the industry to work for us. And uh, we've got a lot of them in those, uh, in those black Promax shirts here tonight. Um, I'm excited about this particular uh, event because what we've chosen to do tonight is take a little different approach than maybe a lot of events take. I mean, I think you've seen many times uh, a smoke event or a camera event or uh, et cetera. What we wanted to do was talk a little bit about the workflow from start to finish because that it's the glue between these things that makes it difficult. So we, we were fortunate enough to uh, to bring the uh, uh, the product manager from Ari here, which I'm going to introduce in a little bit and get started. We have um, we have folks that are going to talk about how to get that from there into your editing platform and then finally getting it into Smoke um, and finish it. So we're very excited about the program that we've put together tonight. I, I think that uh, Promax as a reseller for uh, Smoke for Mac is a, a great addition to the other resellers that have uh, been selling Smoke for a long time and it's just gonna get more people, uh, enable more people to get their hands on this great finishing tool. I really wanted to see what the, the Alexa and Smoke and Final Cut Pro in particular can do together. And the nice thing about, when I saw the Alexa back in April at, right. at NAB, uh -huh. I was just, you know, I was cool taking, camera, right? Yeah, and it was a, it was a big sponsor at our super meets, right? And we saw the images that it was producing, and it was awesome. And then, of course, when you see how it works, it's built for morons like me who can actually <laughs> use that kind of thing with its very simplified menu system. So, and plus, it, you know, that it out, you know, puts ProRes directly to Final Cut so Pro. So no ingestion, like, right? Exactly. And there's so many changes going on, especially in the world of Autodesk, where uh, they're making their forays into being a one-stop shop for finishing, especially from the Ari Alexa, and probably from the Red, too. Sure. So I'm interested in staying on top of all of them. Tonight we're having here at Moviola Digital Arts Institute a smoke event partnered with Promax where we're featuring finish or start capture to finish with right. Ari Alexa Cam to Media Composer Final Cut Pro to Smoke. So we're actually showing all three phases from start to finish, capture to finish. I see. And how do you think it went? Uh, you oh, got two, two of the presenters almost done here. Well, we're almost finished and it's been interesting getting everything up and running, but sure. we've had a great <laughs> turnout and so far it's been great. Great well, it's questions. Been, it's been a great event so far. Great so far, yeah. 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 And uh, so you're showing uh, off the Ari, right? And uh, ingest, or shooting and then ingesting into... Avid, um, Final Cut Pro, Avid. and then sending over to Smoke mm -hmm. for finishing. And, and uh, why is it that you guys chose that whole workflow to showcase here. I mean, you can we chose that workflow because it's the standard workflow and the future workflow of episodic. In the past, we used to shoot on film, telecine, transfer to video. Right. Today, we now not only have the ability to shoot a finishing 2K file, but we also have the ability to shoot a DTE, a direct to edit file, which allows us to pull it out via S by S cards, no capture, no tape, no decks. Right transfer right into the system. Because it wraps it up in uh, MOVs, in right? Time, in, exactly. in ProRes, right? And, exactly. And then we move it right into the system. Right. And then natively, with using either XML or uh, an Avid AEF, we can send that sequence into a finishing system where we can do graphics, color correction, or right. you know, remove items that a DP didn't want, i.e. a lamp post or sure. a sign. I'm with Ari. With Ari. Okay. The product manager of digital production at Ari. And you were showing off the Alexa. Correct. I was given an overview of the Alexa camera system. Right. And uh, a little uh, outline of our, uh, our upcoming features we're going to implement very soon with okay. Alexa. Well, tell us before we, we talk about those features, tell us a little bit about the Alexa. Is it a 2K, 4K? 
Well, the Alexa is actually uh, has a 3.5K chip, but we don't claim to have a 3.5K camera because we have a, a single chip CMOS with okay. a bare mask, and we have to originate at a higher resolution and then downsample. So the camera is essentially uh, a HD or 2K camera. Now, this is an interchangeable lens camera, right? Um, I'm sorry. Correct, it's a PL right. mount camera. PL mount camera. But we're also going to offer different mount options, like okay. Panavision mount. We're also working on a uh, um, Canon or Nikon mount, so okay. you can utilize your digital still lenses. We have various output uh, options. We can uh, record uncompressed, either Airy RAW, which is our proprietary Airy RAW, uh, you know, RAW format. So uh, that's 12 bit. We're talking about 444 color space? Well, it's actually 4444, essentially. You know, it's RGBA information. I Again, see. in 12 bit, sure. which is embedded in the HDS, in a dual link HDSDI stream. We call it T Link. Okay. Then we have the standard HDSDI outputs. We can do, uh, we support 422 or 444. And then we have something very, very interesting. It's called DTE, direct to edit. We can record native ProRes files to S by S cards inside the camera, on board. You just presented uh, for Moviola and for Promax, right? You did the Autodesk. You're, you're an Autodesk specialist, trainer, yes, artist? Yes, I've been, well, I hope I'm an artist, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, but I always find that difficult, actually, to answer. It's like, oh, I'm an artist. That, that puts a high pressure on it. So, yes, I'm a, I'm a smoke and a flame trainer. So tell us what's, what's so cool about the Mac version of smoke. The Mac version? Well, it he says that it runs on Mac, right? That's cool enough. Well, it's accessibility, really, and yeah. the interactivity. Yeah, so the fact that I actually, you know, even smaller places can afford it, and I can integrate it with other workflows. So I have Photoshop on it, I have uh, After Effects on it, Final Cut, or, or Avid, and I can switch between the products, and I can work off the same storage. So it's really flexible, and it allows as we saw in the, in the demo, you can work off open storage, so it's really easy to exchange files because they, they can all be saved in the same spot, and we can you know all grab from it. It's, I could, let's say, update a, a file that I might have rendered in After Effects for right. some reason, or in something like Motion, I might have created little particles. Right. So if I update it, it will update into the, so into the Smoke software. Well, our goal here tonight was to be able to look at the approach of looking at a workflow from an RE camera all the way through finishing on smoke. So uh, we wanted to take a little different uh, approach simply because many times folks look at a particular component or product and they're just looking at that. We wanted to look at kind of the integration between all three, both your, uh, your capture, your editing, and your finish. And so we, we dove deep into those areas.